Hello, uh, today we'll be covering the bus part, as I like to call it. So firstly, you'll notice that it's a 7 at the top, 3.5 when you add all these values together, and of course 7 and 3.5 as it's a rectangle. All right, so first we'll want to set out that, so 7 at the top. Turn on your F8, so 7, then down 3.5, type that in, and type in 7, and then just press C to close. All right, now let's see what we can do next. So radius of 1 right here. So if we're going to go over to here, we can zoom in by double clicking the wheel and pan out slightly. Radius, make sure we select the radius, type in that, uh, select that, left click, one, type in one. All right, let's see how much it's offset. So it's offset to the right 2.5 units. So move tool, Select it with left click, right click, specify the base point with the left click, move it over, 2.5. Oh, just move it out so you don't get the air. 2.5. All right, there we have it. Then we want to place another line. Shift right click for the quadrant. So go over here. Doesn't matter if you pass over the line. Escape. All right, I like to clean it up. So we'll right click, select here, select here. Select here and so on until it's nice and clean. I just like to keep it cleaned up as we go along. Clear up any construction lines. All right. Next, we'll notice we have a diameter of 0.8 circle here, offset 1.5 to the left, down 0.6. All right. So let's make sure we have diameter selected. Go up to the top right. Type in 0.8. We're going to move over 1.5. Move over 1.5. Then we're going to move down 0.6. So left click on it, right click, shift right for center, and move it down 0.6. All right. So now that we got that set, we notice that there is another diameter of one circle down 1.4 from the other circle. So I'd like to just move down that circle with the move tool, left click on it. Right click, shift right, center, select there, move it down. Oh, whoops, not move tool, sorry, copy tool. Move tool doesn't duplicate it, so shift, left click on it, right click, shift right, center, select the center, move it down 1.4. All right, press escape. But we'll notice this is a diameter of 1, so we go over here, circle. Make sure it's the center. Type in 1. We got that. Now we'll just uh, erase the center one. Actually, you can keep the center if you want because we're going to move the center over like this. Left click, right click, shift, center. Let's go check how much it wants it over to the left. That's going to be 2 units. So type in 2. We got that right there. Now, for the next one, we can simply select the mirror tool, select this object right click, specify the center point, or well, the mirror line, and then just go like that and press left click. We do not want to delete the source objects, so we click no, and we're all set for that. All right, next we're, we can notice that there's a radius of one down here on the t bottom left. So first, we'll go back here, make sure we have the radius circle out, go over into the corner, type in one. All right, that's, and then simply we just move it over, one, all right, left click, Right click, move it over one. All right, that's all set. And then the one inside it is a diameter of 1.5. So, 1.5. Okay. Then we we'll trim it. So right click, then we'll left click on that, left click on this, left click on this, erase this, enter. All right, then we'll want to do mirror. So we'll left click this, left click this. Okay, right click, specify the point of mirror, right, like this. Left click, no, we do not want to delete the source object. All we have to do is clean this up, right click. There you go, there you go. Then we'll delete that. And you're all set, that's all there is.